Butler prides itself on being a continuing community that transcends generations. The university's evolved over time. The, the core of what Butler is about um, never changes. The generations can come together because they have a common bond. I look around and there's so many old timers, but there's a lot of young people there too following their grandparents' footsteps. You see people who have been going there for years and you know, you know why they come back. I think the only way you can describe it is love. True love, it's just wonderful. If a former student of mine would call me and say, Doc, I've been gone for 25 years. What's going on on the campus there? And I would, and I have, say, well, come on in and I'll show you around. You won't recognize the place. I've been very fortunate since my time here to see a building built or renovated pretty much every year. The Fairbanks building flew, the billion, the Eidson Duckwall um, Recital Center, the new Health and Recreation Center, the new Housing Village, the artificial turf in the Butler Bowl, the renovation of the Holcomb Building, the new pharmacy building. Bobby Fong and the trustees have done so much for this campus and for the academic uh, structure at Butler. It's been, it's been super. When you have a, a president that will sit and do an open forum with students at Starbucks, you know, and allow them to ask him anything, that says a lot about him and how he runs our, our institution. I believe what we have prepared Butler graduates to do is not simply to make a living but to make a life and that what they are are not simply workers but citizens of the world who have an obligation and the opportunity to leave the world better than they found it. The, the paramount thing that I learned here was that you look at the other side of any debate uh, in order to come to a rational decision. You'll see Butler students volunteering for for many things, uh, volunteering their time, uh, their efforts um, to help the community, uh, to help help the world in, in, in many ways. You know, I just re really found who I was there. You know, Butler is definitely a really good place for me to become the person I am now. Butler Way is, it really has been handed down from generation to generation. Unselfishness, um, a team above yourself. You, you think about others first and that you demand um, high performance and that you do it the right way. And here at Vision Racing, the team I, the team I drive for, we're do, trying to accomplish the same sort of things that uh, Butler gets out of the Butler Way. It gets evolving generation after generation. It's flexible with the times and we can make adjustments along the way. You know, you have to step outside yourself to be able to be part of something bigger. And that's why everybody's so proud of what's happening at Butler. I, I, th I think the value of internships allows a, a student to be with, in a real experience. I mean, it's, it's not theoretical, it's not textbook, uh, it's, it's something that is, is real. I think Butler did a, uh, a tremendous job preparing me for my two years at Harvard Business School. I feel like I've learned a lot of the skills that I, I'm going to use once I graduate. We're doing, we're doing well as a business and a lot of that I will guarantee is due to relationships that I have formed with Butler alumnus, Butler faculty, Butler staff. When you come on campus it's not uh, 
so big that uh, you feel like a number. You feel very important when you're at Butler University because you are an important person at Butler University. I know all my physics majors and graduates. We talk about the, the jobs of the present day, uh, what's going on today, um, uh, just as any, any friends would. Everybody knows everybody and you know you feel like it's, it's a family here. My wife and I will go out for a dinner, the waiter will come over and say, that fellow over there wants you to have this drink. And I'll find out it was a former student of mine. It's really a nice feeling. In the gallery of memory, there are pictures bright and fair. But the one of dear old Butler are the brightest ones that's there. Alma mater. debt to be that we never can be paid and that's uh, kind of the way we feel about it. We owe so much of our makeup to our training here, what we learned both academically and socially um, and the experience that we had here. You know at Butler when you leave, I think you leave with a lot more than a degree and that's what makes you want to give back. I owe Butler the time and commitment that it needs to continue to grow as a university. Um, the university has given me so much. The university is interested in what the alumni have to offer, and I think that there are many alumni out there who, who want to come back and help. I think with this campaign, it's just going to it's just going to make it so much better for every sport to be able to have that locker room they can call home because we do get compared to other locker rooms when we're recruiting. Well, now we've got a chance to finish the bowl and to finish it into the uh, type of facility that we need at Butler University to match our academics. There will be tremendous value in having a 500 seat auditorium on this campus. This size venue is desperately needed in Indianapolis. My view of the scholarship fund uh, is something we talked about very recently as one of the most important things we've ever done, most satisfying things to us. The first recipient, we we're very close to her. We've stayed in very close contact. She's a lovely girl. I was honored to be asked as a staff member to be like a co, they call this co-coaches, or to, to be able to help and talk to our faculty about giving. I think the faculty has bought into the fact that, you know, we are a dynamic university. We're small and we're doing wonderful things here. We like what we're doing here and I think they're giving willingly. The Suzanne Dunham Fong Scholarship has as a stipulation that whenever possible the scholarship go to a student who has lost a parent either in the service of his or her country or in the work done as a law enforcement officer or a firefighter. My wife and I, uh, fairly recently, uh, made a, a contribution to a fund, a memorial fund for our son that was started uh, a few years ago um, that we decided to earmark for the Center for Faith and Vocation. One of the reasons I endowed the Salernia Award Scholarship was to say thank you to Butler for 36 superlative years. The Butler University I see for the future is one where you maintain a small university feel, yet you have the opportunity to have uh, big ideas big music school, 
uh, big biology school, uh, big pharmacy school, uh, big athletic venues. We will attract students uh, of, 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 of all races and creeds uh, who will then have a, a very appreciation of, of, of the world, uh, who will want to go out and, and, and just spread love throughout the world. I am very proud to have graduated from Butler University. When you go places and you tell people you go to Butler University, it's you know it's something to be proud of. I would venture to say there's, there's not another place in this country where, where people do have our shared values. I think all graduates of Butler are a proud group, you know, and it, it, it's fun going to events, whether it's a basketball game or another event. It's definitely a very proud, proud tradition at Butler. Events like Alumni Day always cause you to reflect on the time that you spent at the university. There's something about the the way we work together, uh, the way we do things unselfishly, that just makes it a special place. When I go to the Butler Fieldhouse and see uh, the cheers and the cheerleaders coming out, and I, it's just like old times, like the old Hinkle days, it's just wonderful. The students are affable, the faculty is engaged, the administration puts their arms around the whole place and uh, we're breeding success at, at multiple levels. It's the campus, it's the tradition, it gets in your blood and you, you can't help it. You just want to come back and experience it again and again and again.